All right, we'll try it. 42 glue canisters. 9mm bullets. I want a proper gun at some point. The Transtar glue cannon. Jellifoam lattice organisms obstructor. Disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a climbable platform. Okay. Let's take the shotgun shells, take 204 glue canisters, and of course we'll have that med kit. Uh, this looks like it. So if I... Right, you can create climbable surfaces and climb up things to go up places. Now this looks like it goes up here. There. Oh, there's a few of them. I, I assume I can spray them and then beat them to death with the wrench. Okay, so I use the number key, sorry. Okay. okay. I got a bit of high ground here. Morgan, there. In the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are Thanks. critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Natasha Nikova, by the way, had some random dim sum. More glue canisters, and I'll take a... I guess I'll take a baseball glove. Ah, uh, okay. So, I'm gonna spray these things and then beat them. Right? Okay, it's got a... Missed. It's become a thing. Oh, I keep scrolling. I keep scroll wheeling it. I shouldn't. All right, so you can then just break it apart. Okay, use the number keys. No, I'm okay. That's pressing down middle wheel now. I'm trying to aim, but I don't think you can. Where is it now? God, it just disappears. Okay. I think I get the handle of this. It feels like the original Bioshock. Switching back and forward between, like, plasmids and the weapon. Can I reload this? Yes, I can. Of course I can reload it. What the fuck am I talking about? Right. Well, obviously I'm trying... Zero, four, five, one. No. <laughs> Maybe, maybe it is, maybe they aren't gonna go that far. I can probably find a key code somewhere. There is also a password required to get into that. Now, I'm also looking for the trauma section. This is the lobby. There's the neuromod. Transdol, maybe the transdol lobby is elsewhere. The favorites wheel allows you to quickly select and use weapons and eventually psi powers. Mouse wheel will, uh, to... Use press mouse wheel to open the favorites wheel and select a weapon or item using mouse wheel. Press 1 to equip a weapon. Okay. Okay, got it. That's a bit easier now that I know how you want me to do that. Okay. Computer cart leverage 1. We got a skip... <sighs> Bloody well got me. God, I don't like those at all. Okay, skill recording room. This might, There may be a way into that, but I'm not sure. Restricted access. There may not be. There's also an upper level I didn't uh, see before. I've got to just use number keys, really. Alright, let's take the neuro mod. It might be useful. Okay, well, obviously... Smash the casing and take it and plug it into my eye. They all go into your eye? The Neuromod is a revolutionary trans star invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. 
Oh, okay, so it's not like cyberware, it's just information being directly squirted into my brain. Right, and here in Neuromod, now you've got the skill tree. Awesome. So I've got three branches, scientist, engineer, and security. Let's see what the what they all do. I've got level one at the moment. I need more, presumably, to get to the higher level of stuff, and I need to unlock the previous skill in the tree. Physician one increases your knowledge of medical practice and increases the effectiveness of med kits by 150%. Think I'm okay for now, I'm not taking too much damage immediately. May need that in time. Hacking. Bypass level 1 security member measures on computers and robotic systems. Leverage. Lift heavy objects with ease and throw objects further. Thrown objects will damage enemies. That could be useful. Repair. Fix broken grav shafts, fabricators, and recyclers with spare parts if survival mode is enabled. Use spare parts to repair damaged weapons. And of course, these require level 3. Materials expert and impact calibration, but I'll worry about them later. And conditioning. Increase your health to 115 and your stamina to 105. So I can ignore this one. Uh, also, we've got firearms, combat focus, and stealth one. I might be ignoring stealth, as I tend to do. I want to do repair, but I also want to do... I don't want to do leverage right now. There's a lot of things I could lift up, but right now, I, I think I can hit things to make them die. But I'll need... Eventually, I'll need things like leverage. Let's try. I kind of want hacking too. So it's really between repair and hacking. I think hacking will give me more access around the station and repair will let me, what does it say? Grav shafts, fabricators, and recyclers. So it's basically the same thing. I've got to pick one. There's a door back there I think I can open. Let's start with hacking. If I hack through that key code, I might be able to get past it. This is pr I, don't, I have no idea, by the way, what skills are more useful than when. I'm just going to have to guess. But I, there's a computer back there, and I think I might be able to get access to rooms. Although, there's also a repair thing back there. I'm going to get most of these, surely. Or at least a good portion of these. I'll have to figure out exactly how I want to spec. Let's go with hacking. Let's keep my original idea. Confirm. Know thyself. You have acquired a human ability. Oh god, it's needles. Oh, that is... Uncomfortable. Why is it always eyes? Improvisation has always been your strength. You'd be dead if it wasn't. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. That'd be it. Well, let's look around a bit more first. I've got 86 health. Damn it. Shit. There it is. God, it, it seems to fire low. I'm gonna get used to that. It's not a very low, like large, like it's not very accurate. Is what I keep, what I'm trying to say there. It's a very large reticle, and there's quite a substantial drop off. I, oh, that gives me a little bit of health. Look at this. I could grind that up if I really cared enough to. I'm sure I can do something with those organs. Ooh, what the steampunk toilet is this? Whose idea was this? Fuck him. Damn you. I probably- I'm probably wasting far more ammo than I should be. Let's not do that. Let's just use the wrench from now on. God, they frighten me though. Crumpled toilet paper, presumably. Just waiting to hit something. F to cancel. Remember, I can do that. There we go. And let's just drink this straight. 
hold G to drink it and get a little bit of health. I'm up to 96, 97. Oh, it's actually slowly healing me. Awesome. I don't know how I fix armor. That's clearly not shields, otherwise it would be regenerating by now. Alright, let's start with the place I looked at before. There is the conference room. I want to look in there. I'm going to take everything fairly... No, I need. I definitely need the code. I can't hack past that, but I might be able to hack into that computer. Unless I can climb up and over. I mean, I can climb on. I know that much. The mantling mechanics are quite good. No, there's no way in. Unless... No. Wrench. No. This doesn't break open and give me a way in. Let's drop down there, go to the conference room, and... Ready a mimic. Ready in case of a mimic. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna try not to use too much more. Gloop. Glue. Doesn't seem to be anything in here, but it could be any one of these chairs, or this podium, or this man's corpse. Transcribe Robert Gage, and I take that. Take it that's you. Hold L to listen. Robert, Alice, thank God, no one else is. Where are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I can't. Jesus, you're still in the lab. I can't get out. There's. What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert. Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. Something is coming. I gave plant clippings. He had one on him. They may be useful. Let's take them. And the one he had with him. On him, sorry. I won't drag his body around. I think what was coming was the mimics, or possibly the phantom. Nobody had a note to what's that? Oh, okay. I just knocked that chair around. Nobody had a note to what that, um, what the access to that door is? I want to do that, but I might not get the opportunity right now. Did I check? Oh, no, you've got more glue canisters on you. I should keep an eye out for that. Okay, that's what they look like. Sing is dead. I can't repair that. I could have actually done something with that. Alright, I don't think I'm getting in that door yet. Or if I can, I don't know how to. Can I get up to the top here? Oh, okay. Dwarf Red Cosmos. You can just pick flowers as well. You can hit those things. Computer cart. Alright, I've, I've bumbled around enough here. Let's just move on. There's clearly nothing. There's no other obvious way through. So let's just... Go to lobby. Now, I'm not sure though. Ah! <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to come back. Ah, I can't just stand around here. Randomly going about. I'm also, I want to do trauma first. There's an optional mission mission to go check out Bellamy's corpse in trauma. He's definitely dead by now. It killed that one guy very quickly, so I don't know how Bellamy survived for much longer. I can go back if I need to. You made it. Yes, January. Ready for your first real view of the world? Uh-huh, I'm gonna see space out there. Nash Underwood. Oh, literally all of these guys have names. What is that? 9mm bullets, okay, definitely. Suit repair kit. And a med kit. Search. Okay, okay, I, I was pressing F for some reason. I and you can, like, put stuff back in their corpse. Good. And that's the moon. And there's Earth. Moving very quickly. Look at that. What's up with the orbital speeds? That's in you shouldn't be able to actively see it move. Talos 1 Lobby. Transstar. Trans I love the design of this station. It's going for... Hold on, what was that? The music just changed briefly. It's sort of like... It's a little Art Deco. It's definitely taking some influence from Bioshock. In terms of visual design. 
but it's also futuristic. Let's not take banana peels and lemon peels. Ah, that just vented a part of the station. Not good. Am I gonna get a gun? You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. My office. I know you have a lot of questions. Yeah, first of all, why on earth do I have an office? Exploration. Talos 1 is open for you to explore. From the lobby, you can reach other parts of the space station via the bulkhead doors and lifts. You may return to the lobby and other areas you've discovered as often as you like to complete optional objectives. Alright. Video file. Apparently I have an office here that I haven't been to very much because I thought I was hanging out on Earth. But I've been on this station for a while. I've got an office here. Presumably my memory's been wiped. I get the feeling... Oh, that's sorry. I tried to scroll through that. Baseball glove and lemon peel. I don't need rubbish from them, I take it. Transstar exhibit. Where's trauma? Alice Icon. Test tube sample and... 0.01 of organic material. Where did it say? Trauma center is on 2F up there. So level 2. Second floor taking, I take it. There's the shuttle bay. I've got to get up there somehow, but I, I'm going to go through the trans star ex exhibit. Phantom. Oh my god. Okay. Does this work on phantoms? Oh! Ah. Uh, E. Oh my god, that does not give me a lot of health. Let's use a second one. 1963. A top secret Cold War negotiation culminates with America. 1963. What? Hang on. I'm, 1963. I'm not really ready for this. Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos One. Okay, so there's the alt universe thing I was prepared for. Hold on a second. How do I fight that thing without a gun? I'd like one. Use cigar. No. No, thank you. There's JFK, who looks older, by the way. He didn't... Clearly wasn't assassinated. Is that what they think would have happened? Dedicated to JFK, who was president into... Or lived a lot longer than... Uh, he did in real life. And the Soviets and the Americans working together in 1963, even with, with JFK in charge? Are you sure about that? I'm not sure I buy that very much. So, you know, a lot more reasons than just, like, the opinions of the president involved in the tensions between the Soviets and the Americans. Oh, good. The Phantom is still alive. Okay, so he can still shoot there you are. I need a gun. But he can still shoot while he's like, frozed. Like, glued up. Take them out. I'm gonna die. Who can it? Ah. What the? I think it got me with a canister. <sighs> okay. <laughs> right. I can't crouch. I tried to crouch. It didn't let me. Oh, shut up. I can't- I can't listen to your- 
personnel should report to Musk's decision to immediately and the risk for God's sakes, okay, the, the, there's a slight problem with how it does this, this is, that is entirely different to how I'm used to games working. I can't scroll between weapons. Scrolling gets you to a little menu, which uh, is just ruining me. I'm trying to switch between weapons quickly, but it's not easy. Attention. Move. I did it again. And he retreats. I got him without being hurt too much there. Okay. Move left and right and give him the... <laughs> I got the phantom, but now here come the... Uh, mimics. God, I keep trying to switch using the... Got it. Okay, back off, back off, and take care. Alright, use the bloody numbers. What I've got to do... Sorry, I need to check. Oh, tab switches weapons. I just tried that. Use tab to flip. <sighs> Thank you for not telling me that. Okay. Alright, that's a little easier. Whew, I managed to get through that without getting hurt. Let me deal with that. I want to look through those plaques, but... Okay, I took a... Back off. Come on, slow them. I'm out of ammo. Two health kits. I think I'm alive. Okay, you gotta be really swift on that. I, I, it's, I, my reflexes are gonna f um, take a bit of time to get used to with that because I keep trying to use scroll wheel to switch between weapons because that's what I'm used to. The Phantom Corpse got a lot of stuff on him. I want, I want all those uh, Typhon organs, I take it. Now I can stack more than 13, alright, cool. Let's grab, drink the tea, no, hold G to drink it, because that has a passive increase in uh, health, passive health regeneration, or uh, temporary health regeneration at the very least. And then I've got Psy Hypo. I think I can use that for Psy abilities, but I don't know what they are. Uh, I get one from each of those drinking fountains. Turret! Right, that's a gun. Okay. Just want to break all this clue. These explode. Got it. Okay, big red thing with the chemical symbol on, on it. You can th you can pick up and presumably th actually. Where's this turret? There you are. Are you friendly? It's it's blue. And it's not shooting me. Okay. I want these and I want to throw these at probably phantoms. Okay, keep that in mind. I'm gonna have to get used to that. I didn't do enough throwing stuff in Bioshock. I should do more of that in this game. Okay, let's do this. A top secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos 1. Okay, so now that we've done with that little fight, let's move on to the history lesson. Apparently in 1963, the Americans and Soviets had managed to forget about the fact that their ideological, geopolitical, and strategic goals were fundamentally at odds and had become totally okay with their opponents having the ability to influence the world stage and maintain a military presence in Berlin and morning, keep... As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly I'm... physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. I'm trying to talk here. 
It seems that the geopolitical divide between the Soviets and the Americans was somehow alleviated up to the point where they would cooperate on space technology, despite the fact that both of them had developed their independent space programs for the explicit and specific purpose of proving to the other side that they could deliver a nuclear warhead to their opponent's cities at a moment's notice, and literally for no other reason. I gotta be honest, I don't really see it. That apparently they were, they were fine with doing some space exploration together despite the fact they were in active competition. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the US pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. How good do you think the Soviet space program was that they would have had an active lunar station available by 1964? 1980-1994 Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. I'm guessing President Reagan had something to do with those geopolitical developments. He was a little bit hawkish on the Russian problem. 2025. That seems like the a significant Trans jump. The Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. Awesome. Awesome. The station was presumably previously owned, was sold off by the US government and bought by a private organization who were developing the Neuromod technology. 2030. Talos 1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. And in one way or another, it has led to the place being overtaken by these mimics and phantoms. I take it they're related in some manner. Ooh, there is a neuromod in here. Okay, I've really got to keep an eye out for these. Let's take that. And this time... No. We're going to go into neuromods, and we're going to go and do repair. Enter to acquire. And then I'm probably going to do some... Some conditioning. Because I probably need more of that, considering my last... Showing was not exactly the best. So that's a spine, I can't take that. A helmet. Axiom program. There are 1963. Why are there two different patches for the Axiom program? There's the station. You know. Giving me vibes, obviously, of Citadel Station, but also of Sevastopol and every, you know, sci-fi space station that's ever existed. Let's keep the glue gun prepped. Oh, God. I need I need a ranged, um, a more ranged weapon. I could really do with whatever's using those shotgun shells or 9mm rounds. There's a turret here. Hold F to pick up multiple items. Which would be, what, the banana peel and something else? A used cigar? I don't think I need a used cigar. I doubt my character smokes cigars. Udon noodles. I'll eat these. These are going to be good. I do like my noodles. Um, no. Oh. I just everything is a monster, isn't it? Every one of these benches, these plants, they're all possibly monsters. The turret. Yeah, the 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 turret is on my side. I'm very pleased about that for the time being at least. I'm Oh, trauma center. Key card. I'll need that to get into the trauma center. Uh some dim sum. Lovely. Let's eat that and heal up. Hello, friendly gun turret. Oh god, that's... I don't like it pointing at me. But thank you. I would like it if the turrets were all friendly. 
rather than becoming hostile because of some rogue AI or something gone wrong with the systems. Employee orientation. I gotta get up to trauma. This door is open and I kind of want to... I'm going to spend a long time bumbling around each level looking at all the stuff. But that's how I... Ah. Fuck you, you... Oh shit, back off. Ah. I can't hit these things. God damn it. Use a health kit. Come on. Can't hit these things. It's stuck behind that dent. Hey. God damn it, hit tab, hit tab. I can't. Come on. Got it. There's another one, I think, somewhere. Over there, I just saw it. God, it could be on the roof. Fuck, I don't know. There you are. Ah, <sighs> God, they move friggin' weird as well. I think there's two of them. Hit me again. God, I hate these things. There we go. You gotta be really fast on the mark. These things are slippery. I need another health kit. Damn it, I'm going through those like friggin' any anyone's business. Still got a few spare though. Alright, what does this say? Trans star employees who perform at exemplary levels are eligible to receive newer mods. So, there might be more newer mods around here. God, they are all over the friggin' place. Oh good, a med kit. I'll take that. Psychotronic stuff only. That is clearly damaged. There's some repairing I could do there. Now that I've got the upgrade for that, I might even be able to. And we're back around here. Was there anything in this room, or was it just a bunch of mimics? Or was I going to start calling them fucking mimics? No, it doesn't seem like there was. Get a bit of health. Uh, shotgun shells. I would like a shotgun. I would like one very much. Nothing would give me greater pleasure than shotgunning one of these things in there. Well, just shotgunning one of them. They don't have faces to shotgun, but, you know. Alright. Alright, doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Let's look in the restrooms. Okay, now it's saved. There's gonna be something in here. God, I haven't got a lot of ammo anymore. Well, I have, actually. I got 180, but I don't want to use... I don't know how much I'm gonna be getting, and I haven't been getting a lot. If I stay crouched, I can do some stealthing, can I? There's gonna be something in one of these toilets. Actually, why would there be anything? Now, there might be a way through. Oh, nope. I actually don't know. I'm looking up, trying to look for vents. If I stand here and try to climb up onto the curtains, onto the walls, sorry. Very tall toilets. Another health kit. Okay, med kit, whatever. Whatever it calls itself, you know what I mean. I can climb onto this. One down. How does this hitting you? God 
Damn you. I'm losing armor, which is presumably meaning I'm taking more damage when they hit me. There must be a way to repair that. Friggin' things. I was hitting that, I'm sure of it. What is the mimic? Why I can't- I need to do necropsy to take out the mimic tumors, and what do they do? The space elevator. Except from article Stairways to Heaven by Dr. Angelina M. Allen. Early United States dominance of the first operational space elevator, the White Stark Tower, White Stork Tower, sorry, has allowed them to control almost all orbital activities and commerce. Now the rest of the world is playing catch-up. The World Union of Space Industry has calculated that using the Stark facility to aid in the construction of a second space elevator would result in construction costs that are one quarter of the original. Understandably, US officials have balked at the idea of helping competitors build a cheaper platform that could give them a competitive advantage. Stork representatives maintain that a sizable investment risk for the original platform justify the protection of this economic space. In the meantime, WUSI has aggressively moved to purchase ideal sites for future space elevators. Essentially, space age, space age squatting. There's a space- Earth has a space elevator. I didn't see that when I looked at Earth from the outside, but I wasn't really looking for them. Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until 9 a.m. Every little helps. I guess we're heading up now. This is great, but very, very, like, stressful. But the food is good. Hold to eat it. Drink that. Let's not take lemon. I don't see any reason to take lemon peels, but maybe I'll find one one day. What was I doing again? <laughs> it's been a long time since I checked my objectives. I'm heading to my office. Well, I know it's on 2F. I know uh, trauma is on level 2F, so I take it it's going to be up on the second level of the lobby. There's security. My video file's in there somewhere. There's human resources. Alright, once again, I'm going to keep trying this. It's never going to work, is it? No. <laughs> now, could I... Yeah, I could do this. That's a way around here. God, these, the way these things move. Oh, shit. You moron, why would you do that? Can't about to suicide. What were you thinking slamming down like that? I didn't ask you to do that. I just hit it. Oh my god. Okay, note to self, if you're on glass floors, f move off them before fighting. Yeah, I could- if I'd done it here, it would've been fine. I wouldn't lost all that health. Noted. Not happily, but noted. Staff lounge and IT security, I need a- I need a way in there. Don't think I can hack these, can I? Oh, actually, I totally can. Alright, I'm gonna have to go back and try hacking. Okay. I didn't know that that was there. I didn't really look at that. That's usually a hash symbol or a, a asterisk. I didn't really look at it, but yeah. No, that's how you hack. Hacking skill allows you to bypass security systems protecting keypads, workstations, and security stations. At higher skill levels, you can hack into robotic systems such as turrets and operators. To hack, use WASD to quickly navigate the bitstream to reach the target. Once inside the target, press the prompted button to complete the hack. Okay, don't hit the red. Z. Okay. That system noted. Oh, Phantom. I'm gonna die if I fight that thing. Please close the door. I can't fight that, not with my present uh, weapons. Let's climb across here. Let's. I'm, if I get a stronger weapon, I'll use it. Got that one. 
Do you have a gun on you at all? Test tube sample. I can hear another thing. Staff lounge is broken. Trauma center. I can unlock that with the card I've got. Actually, don't hit things. It's... We're looking for Bellamy's corpse. He'll probably be on an operating table somewhere. Is there not a gun somewhere I can get? I can hear a phantom. I'm sure that's what that is. I don't want to use any more health kits unless I absolutely have to. Let's eat whatever I've got in there. Right click to get out of there. Oh, if you you can literally do that and go under tables, apparently. But only partially. It doesn't quite work. Stephen Bellamy tracking bracelet. So, Sylvain Bellamy. I don't know why I said Stephen there. What is what is it? it? It's 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 not able to crouch under here, but it's able to crouch under this corner. It's a bit weird. Who are you? Anna Goldcrest. Biohazard waste. Probably don't need that. Let's not go the way I can hear the uh, the definite phantom. Okay. And there's a fire phantom. Garfield Langley. Uh huh. Well, that might be a that might be a corpse in front of me. I'm not sure. There's no there's no way this is possible not right now without with my set of weapons. I'm clearly ahead of my own level. Let's just I remember to look up. Let's just avoid it for now. I need something more than a look at that thing. There's no way. <laughs> I'm not trying that. I want at least a shotgun. I've got shotgun shells, I've got 9mm ammunition. One of those has got to be around here somewhere. And I can't do that unless I've got something slightly heavier. No matching keycard, okay. I presume I could try to hack this. No. I don't know if I could. I think maybe keycards can't be hacked, but codes can. See, if I could lead them back to this turret, that might work. Shall I try? Oh, is that, is that, I don't even know what kind of attacks those things have, or if they'll follow me this far. Let's not, but I'll keep that in mind for future tactics. Then I might lead them back to turrets. I want to avoid using health kits. There's the, there's another trauma center card, okay. Executive officers. Uh, okay. We've got three emails. Let's put away this. I'm going to need... Miss Godwin. Miss Goodwin. I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out to stretch his legs. When you get up here, the key code is 0813, not the old number on the file. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. Security Officer Josh Haskins. Meeting Gustav. Okay, thank you. From Bianca Goodwin to Dr. Dio Igwe. I Igwe? Yeah. That's, I don't know. Until I, can, until I get a pronunciation on that, that's as good as I can do. Meeting Gustav. Dr. Igwe, I relayed your previous request and we'll see what we can do about, or we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know when I have more details. Sincerely, Bianca, Talos One Volunteer and Guest Liaison. From Dr. Igwe to Goodwin, meeting Gustav, Ms. Goodwin. To follow up on the previous request, I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Leitner's visit. Is it still taking place? And if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love a chance to meet him before the neuromapping procedure if possible. re re Leitner's visit. Yeah, Igwe showed up, polite and quiet. He shook Leitner's hand like he was afraid of breaking him, and asked him to sign an album he brought. Leitner seemed flattered, so that was a plus. We tried to make him comfortable. His condition hasn't stopped him from craving a cigarette. Fingers were twitching. Too bad, such a talent. No wonder he wanted to get scanned. Oh. Tumor? Or 
whatever this thing was. I'm not sure. Does it grow out of people? I don't have any... It, it, it uses people to replicate. But does that mean that it... Um, it originally... Developed from humans. Ah, that will be a... No, I thought that was a... Thing. It's not. Please remove these remaining boxes to my new office in Neuromod Div as soon as feasible. Neuromod Division, presumably. The Principles in Neuroscience, 10th edition. The brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes such as plant photosynthesis avian navigation and our own sense of smell paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubes of neurons. I don't know enough about neuroscience to know if that's, like, completely talking nonsense. Consciousness, the fire in the equations. The nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subject subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms. Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons, or is it a fundamental and irreducible property woven into the fabric of the universe? Questions for smarter people than I to answer. Neuroscience is way beyond, anything is beyond my expertise, but neuroscience is about as far beyond my expertise as quantum mechanics is. Sylvain, I'm trusting you with my brain. You do... This is from Morgan Yu. Oh, that's me. Okay. So I agreed to be a test subject, perhaps. Well, it seems like it. I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work, so hopefully that continues. Listen, if the tests don't go well, if something happens, let Alex know that it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. The code to your office is 0451. Screw you, I was gonna try that. Why can't... Mm, why can't I t put that in not knowing what the answer is going to be? Also, if the tests drag on, consider moving your office down to sim. Less hassle, and you can always move back after we celebrate our success. So I knew what I was going in for. This wasn't a medical operation, or so maybe it was. Maybe I had something in my brain that they were trying to dig out. But I agreed to this. But I've lost all my memories since, clearly. Hmm, thanks for dealing with that. Note, OMG hot boss. That's the password. Jason Chang. Classy. Key code change. Jason, maint screwed the key... Okay. Maint maintenance screwed the keypad to my office, so I had them set it up to 0451. I'll be in sim labs for a while if you need anything, help yourself. But they already told me. I would have liked to have tried it without having to check. I, I want to do that. One of these days, I'm going to play a game that's going to let me input that without telling me what it is beforehand. Good morning, Carlos. Warning. Tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security. Where's that coming Welcome from? Back. This has been your home for the last three years. And I apparently don't the remember it. Should be on your workstation. Am I going to learn anything about why I seem to have agreed to go into a simulation and have my brain fiddled with? Okay, I got a Neuromod 3. Or three Neuromods. Let's plug those in now. No reason not to, as far as I can tell. I have three on hands. Okay. So let's start with a conditioning upgrade. What have I got? Combat focus. Enter a state of combat focus for 10 seconds in which time slows around you and actions cost 50% stamina. That would be useful. Enemies take longer to detect you when you are sneaking or crawling. Let's start with a basic conditioning. And then we've got two more that I can plug... Into suit modification, upgrade your Transtar uniform with extra inventory space and allow installation of two additional chipsets. I'll leave, leave that for now. I'm not having a problem with inventory space. I can do leverage one. So I can pick two one level things. Like, for instance, physician might be really good. 
or I could do one of these, like, combat focus, which would give me, which would make fighting those mimics a cinch. But probably not the... The phantoms. My health is now at full. Suit integrity, how do I re restore that? Let's not do stealth. I could save, also, by the way, I could save this for increasing damage to security weapons, with security weapons, and chance to critically hit. I'm going to be doing that. So my options are either one of, either suit modification, I don't think that's useful just yet. And these are all too high. Actually, no, I'd need... Hmm. I'm kind of stuck between physician and something else, or combat focus. Let's go with physician. Let's do some base stuff. I'll need it anyway to do, you know, for instance, physician 2 and necropsy. I'll need that. Uh, what does this lead to, by the way? Just more leverage. That might be quite useful, actually. Alright, let's do leverage. And then we'll think probably about combat focus next time I get two. But that's all the level one upgrades, as far as I can tell. Uh, Fermi Paradox, that's what that stands for. That's my password. So, something about this has to do with the Fermi Paradox. Good morning, Morgan. I got the plan as you requested. It's in your safe. Jason. And teleconferencing keycard. I'll need that, presumably. Okay. Three emails. Let's read them. You made it, EOM. This is from January. What does EOM stand for? Stop doing that. <laughs> I clicked instead of, uh, instead of pressing F. I still don't know what happened. I've put it behind me, but there's no reason we still can't be civil. You passed me in the hall today, and you looked through me. If you're angry at me at something I did, tell me, and we can talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We have to work together. Morgan apparently also had a problem with Mikhaila Illusion. Absolutely buggered that name, I'm sure. From Jason Chang to Morgan Yu. As requested, your terminal logs, uh, logs are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite in crew quarters and supplies from hardware sent up. Let me know if they get to you alright, and if not, I'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold, the f I'll hold down the fort outside your office. Wrong! It's hold the fort, not hold down the fort. Jason. And utilities will be the videos. Watch me, Morgan. Okay. This LGV file should clear things up. Make sure you're alone when you hit play. How do I know if I'm alone? Fabricator. Okay, so this is base of operations. Place items in the bin. Bunch of spare parts. I've got a whole thing. Okay, I seem to be alone. There's nothing else I can do. I can activate or anything. Too far, too fast. I'll read that later. Alright. On the main screen. Which is... Where? There. That's a... Very nice little bit of... Hologram you've got here. Well, it's looking glass, isn't it? Hello, Morgan. Tough You'd day, be me. Right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. You've got a voice, but only you. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, yeah. a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs, but someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Looking glass server connection lost. 
I do have a voice. I'm not a silent protagonist. I'm just not speaking because I've lost all my memories and probably my ability to speak. I just thought I found every one of those damn videos. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Hmm. Am I locked in here? No. Well, maybe. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. Okay. First of all, let's take this med kit. And everything's turned back on so we can leave. Through a glass darkly. A lot of references. A access Dr. Calvino's workshop. Alright. Is our brother to be trusted? Is our previous self to be trusted? And January is also a backup of our consciousness. This is all... A lot of very interesting and very poignant questions. How much of this are we responsible for? And how much of this is down to Alex? I bet it's not zero. But right now, my way, my... I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a poke around in here, see what all this does. But I've gotta head, probably... Oh, I need a weapon or, you know, something a bit more violent than a glue gun. To deal with those phantoms. I almost called them something else. I think I almost called them plasmids for some reason. And then I've got to move to Dr. Calvino's office to repair the connection to the servers. For that, I'm going to make sure I know what all this is about. What the bin does and what the fabricator can do. Because all this seems very important.